What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of IGCSE Biology Revision and today we're going to be covering uh, section 7.5 of the syllabus uh, and uh, the main focus of today's topic will be of course about absorption. Now within this topic, uh, the main point of this video is just to demonstrate and um, kind of help you be comfortable with the significance of what we call a villi and uh, the microvilli which we find in the small intestine uh, in the digestive system. So going back to this diagram that we've looked at before, uh, we have the small intestine that is made of two different parts, the duodenum and the ileum. Um, and as we've stated before, the small intestine is important for the absorption of uh, digested nutrients that we've uh, covered in the last topic, and also the absorption of water. Now, going further down in the digestive system, we've got the colon, and uh, it also has the function of absorbing water, but it's important to note that although both structures absorb water, majority of it is absorbed in the small intestine, not the colon. Now as I've said before, uh, the majority of the focus of today's video is going to be about uh, this thing uh, called villi and we find that in the small intestine. So if you consider this really really bad diagram of an, a, a small intestine, uh, you'll see that the uh, lining of the small intestine, the, the lining uh, within the intestine is actually folded inwards towards the center like this and each of these folds is what we call a villi or a villus. Uh, which is a singular form. So the villus is really important uh, because it increases the surface area for the absorption of nutrients uh, from within the uh, center of the small intestine. So if we were to kind of zoom up on one of these enfolded structures, this is what we would see and this is in fact what we call um, a villus. So going into a bit more detail about the structure, we have uh, the inner networking of uh, blood capillaries and we also have a central uh, lacteal and they serve different purposes. Now the blood capillary, uh, sorry, the capillaries absorb glucose and amino acids and uh, the lacteal which is at the very center of the villus absorbs fatty acids and glycerol and this all happens via diffusion where nutrients from outside of the villus kind of diffuse inwards into these structures here and they pass through this thing called an epithelial lining. Now you can see that each of these uh, little blocks here are separated by uh, a black margin that I've drawn out here and that's just to demonstrate that each of these blocks represent one epithelial cell and they all align into this long string uh, to create what we um, call the epithelial lining and we can see uh, thus that the epithelial lining is only one cell thick because this is uh, individually only one cell. And that is really important because uh, when we think about diffusion, uh, uh, the small diffusion distance dramatically increases the rate of diffusion. And if we were to kind of zoom up once again on one of these epithelial cells, this is kind of what you would see. And you, s you can see these micro extensions at the tip of each of these in, uh, epithelial cells and this is what we call a microvilli. Essentially it's kind of like a mini version of this whole villus here um, attached onto the, edge, uh, the edges of each of the individual um, epithelial cells that make up the epithelial lining of the villus. And once again that is uh, very important because it increases the surface area even further for the absorption of nutrients. So yeah, that was a very short video, but thank you for uh, listening and watching once again, and um, I'll see you next time.